<clears throat> so good morning here we are in sunny nottingham we're in lockdown with the coronavirus so uh, you've got to do something with yourself haven't you as i'm making a video the other day i was out on my bike and i was going past a house called bramley cottage and it got me thinking you know because my sister lives in another or rather my sister-in-law lives in another bramley cottage and we live in Bramley House on Bramley Close, so it's all Bramleys. And we're not far away from Southall, or Southwell, as some say, uh, where the Bramley apple first grew, grew at the beginning of the 19th century. And it struck me as long overdue that someone should write a song about the famous Bramley apple. And if someone should, why not me? So here we are for your delectation and delight. The Bramley Apple Song. In Southern Town there grows a fruit that's known the whole world over. From Barcelona to Beirut, from Dublin down to Dover. This chieftain of the apple race is worthy of his fame. God bless his rosy shining face, cause Bramley is his name. And here's to the Bramley the finest of them all so big and crisp and juicy not meager soft and small you can put them in your dumplings and in your crumbles too if you don't like a bramley then there's something wrong with you poor little raymond grew so weak it was beyond all bearing no trace of colour in his cheek, the doctors were despairing. His dad gave way to anguish, and his mum did no but cry, till grandma saved his bacon with the Bramley apple pie. So here's to the Bramley, the finest of them all. So big and crisp and juicy, not meagre, soft and small. You can put them in your dumplings and in your crumbles too. If you don't like a Bramley, then there's something up with you. Don't talk to me of olivants, of souffles and of Sundays. God, Bramley's what the people wants from Tuesdays round to Mondays. If Beethoven had known him, he'd have wrote a symphony about the Bramley apple and the Bramley apple tree. So here's to the Bramley, the finest of them all. So big and crisp and juicy not meager soft and small you can put them in your dumplings and in your crumbles too if you don't like a bramley then there's something up with you if you don't like a bramley then there's something up with you Oi. <laughs>